Hello friends, welcome to video number eight in our 11 video playlist series talking about some of the most common struggles on a raw vegan diet. And when I pulled Instagram, one of the top ones was travel and on the go. So let's talk about that in this video. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video here in our playlist series. And you can get the completely brand new Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle right now with my new wraps book in it for only $50, but it's only here until May 11th. And I've had some people ask, is this the same as last time? Is it a different bundle? I already bought the last one. Do I still get the Raw Wraps ebook? This is a completely different Raw Vegan Bundle. The cool thing about this one is that absolutely everything in it is brand new. So I can guarantee that you don't have anything that is in this bundle. Everybody who has contributed to it has contributed something brand new and never before released. So if you were to buy everyone's new content, it would cost you over $1,700, but because we wanted to launch everything in the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle this year, and again, it's only happening once this year from May 1st to May 11th, so there's only a couple days left. You gotta go grab it before it's gone. You get everything on the website for 50 bucks, and that's all of our brand new releases. So go click on the link in the description box below. Go see all the goodies that you're getting this time in the Ultimate raw vegan bundle and if you want it grab it before it's gone so today we're gonna to be talking about travel and on the go as a raw vegan this is definitely a struggle because we live in a world that isn't set up to eat this way I mean we can it's totally possible but it's not set up to eat this way we can go to a restaurant and we can maybe get a pitiful salad with iceberg lettuce, maybe a couple cherry tomatoes, maybe some really chunky onion. <laughs> and the dressings will always have like oil or salt or processed some kind of stuff in it. Like the dressings aren't ideal and the vegetables are just, I mean, they're still decent. It's better than nothing, but it's not going to sustain and it's going to have a lot less nutrition than if you were to make it yourself. So it is challenging. It's hard when we live this modern life, go, go, go. We're working, we're trying to have fun, we're trying to enjoy our life. And it's really hard for many people to be able to do a healthier diet in the midst of all of that and all the stress and everything, right? So for traveling, and for on the go, I would say my absolute number one tip is to plan. And I know that sounds easier said than done for sure, but planning is the key to success in anything in life, anything. If you wanna be successful, you need to plan and you can't skip that step. You have to plan. If you're gonna go run errands, plan taking some fruit or blend a smoothie so that you have it while you're in your vehicle. Um, maybe you take with you chopped salad with a dressing on the side and you have a little cooler in your vehicle if you're gonna be gone a long time. Plan your outings. Plan it so that you can be successful. Because if you don't plan, then while you're out and about, you're gonna be like, oh, I need something. I don't know what to have because you didn't plan. If you planned, you would be a lot more successful. So that's my top number one tip. The second tip is grocery stores are your best friend. That is basically the raw vegan restaurant, is the grocery store. You can go to the grocery store and you can get all kinds of food. Nate and I do this often. Now we have a box, like a big bin, in our vehicle where we have all our stuff for travel. We've got bowls, forks, spoons, knives, cutting board. We've got a grater in there. We've got rags. We have a jug of water so that if we are out more than what we want and we feel hungry, we can stop at a grocery store. We can grab a head of lettuce. We can get some tomatoes. 
we can get a cucumber and some other things. We could get an avocado. We usually mash avocado with some tomatoes and we chop up some onions and we have ourselves a quick dressing, maybe drizzle some lemon juice on there or orange juice, but we can buy all of the stuff at the store. And many times, most times actually, it's a lot less money to do that than it is to go to a restaurant and get a smaller salad. Like we can make massive salads. We did in the summertime, it was about 117 degrees outside. It was so hot and we had taken way too much time at the oil change place. Like for some reason we were there way longer than we anticipated. We were hungry because we were expecting to be home so we could make lunch. So we're like, let's just go to the grocery store. We went and we got enough for two giant salads for the both of us, totaling almost $9. I think it was like $8 and 60 cents or something like that. And yes, the prices are gonna change depending on your area. But for us on this day, that's how much those salads were. So they were like 430 each <laughs> and they were massive and they were delicious and it worked for us. And we bought stuff that was in season, stuff that was on sale, stuff that worked and we just chopped it on our tailgate and we had our salad. If you are interested in learning more about the bin that we have and all the stuff that we have in our truck, if you buy the bundle, the ultimate raw vegan bundle that's going on right now until May 11th, link is in the description box below, you will get access to my husband Nate's brand new raw vegan kitchen essentials course. In that course, he has a long video talking about all the tools that we have in our bin. So you can pick and choose what works best for you, what fits in your vehicle, um, if you have a vehicle or what you can take maybe in a backpack. Like we take hiking, we'll take a cutting board with a little knife and a rag and a bottle of water so that we can do stuff while we're hiking as well. So again, it comes down to planning. If you can plan what you're gonna have, you'll know what you're gonna need. So then you can take those tools or prepare things in advance. If you can't take the tool with you, then you can take the food with you already prepared as well. So that's another cool thing about the bundle is that you're getting my raw vegan wraps ebook, the brand new, much anticipated raw vegan wraps ebook where you could actually make the wrap the day before if you're planning on going out or taking a long road trip or going on vacation or going camping or even just going to work or going to school, you can make the wraps the day before, you put them in, You it basically takes like 10, 15 minutes to blend pour, spread, and put in the dehydrator. It's really easy and I've been doing them almost every night, like I'll put it in, I'll just get up and I'll blend it. It's like blending a smoothie basically. Put all the ingredients in, blend it, pour it, spread it, put it in the dehydrator and just let it sit until it's done. And the next day, when you're ready to leave, obviously you wanna plan it so it works out. So it's like 12 to 16 hours uh, before you have to wrap to leave. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that you plan. That's again, why you have to plan. You have to time things out so it works. Cause then if you time things out, you're like, oh, that was so easy. <laughs> so plan when you're gonna blend the wrap. And then when you're ready, wrap the wrap, or you could do multiple. You can do up to three days worth of wraps. You can wrap them all and put them in like deli paper and they last up to about three days once they've been wrapped. So that's great if you're gonna be camping for three days, you've got lunch for three days. I mean, it's so awesome. And that's a really great travel food to take with you. Nate and I are gonna be taking wraps with us on all of our summer trips that we have planned this year. So you'll see lots of those on my Instagram and my Instagram stories and probably here on YouTube as well so that's gonna be fun but that said wraps are great to take camping as well as raw vegan burgers and raw vegan tacos and I know that sounds like a lot of work but it's actually not that bad we will make the burger patties and the sauces or the taco meat and the sauces at home before we go camping and we have it in our cooler we have a Massimo cooler again Nate talks about the cooler in the kitchen course so grab the bundle so that you get access to that he talks about the cooler and how we pack it and everything and we'll take that with us camping and then all we have to do is chop the vegetables at our camp spot and our cooler is battery powered we're actually getting a solar panel for it as well so we'll be able to 
run it in the desert, <laughs> it's gonna be great. Um, but these are investments that we make into ourselves so we can have fun and eat good at the same time. These are important things to us, so we save up and we invest in these things and they've been game changers for us. We enjoy our camping trips even more because we get to enjoy these awesome raw foods. So we'll either do salads, so we blend salad dressings and this is another big tip for travel is getting a vacuum blender. Nate talks about the vacuum blender in his kitchen course and the vacuum lids. The vacuum seal lids are game changing for travel and for preserving food. Like if you're making lunch dressings for three days or more, I mean, some of the dressings can last up to four or even five days and they're super fresh. If you blend it under vacuum and then seal it under vacuum, they last a lot longer. Regular blending blends a lot of air into the dressing and it oxidizes it faster. So it goes bad faster. But when you're blending it under vacuum, there's like hardly any air that's being blended into it. So there's less likely to go bad faster. So you've got an extra like two, three, and depending on the dressing, if it's a higher fat one, you've got like sometimes like five days on that dressing. And when you open it, when you take off the seal, the vacuum seal, if you vacuum seal it, it still tastes like you just made it. It's so cool. But yeah, Nate goes over all of that in his kitchen course that's in the bundle. So getting some tools that will really help with travel is essential to be able to do this because yes, you need to plan for sure. But when you plan, you need the tools so that you're able to execute your plan. As for other travel food, Nate and I really, really love to take fruit that stores well, like melons. Melons would have to be our number one travel food because they don't need to be in the fridge. They last really long. They're pretty sturdy. If you know they roll around in the back seat, that's fine too. They are really hearty travel foods. And then you just cut it open and eat it. It's really easy. So melons are our top number one travel food. Along with apples, apples are great travel food too. High fiber, hydration, they're easy to take. They don't go bad very fast. Apples are really good. Um, mangoes as well. Mangoes are a really big one that we take when we go camping because they last pretty good. Um, it's nice to have that different variety. Bananas we don't really take camping because they bruise really easily. They might not ripen at the time we need them. So those tend to be not something that we take camping. But oranges, citrus is really great to take as well. We take a lot of tomatoes and cucumbers. The tomatoes we don't put in the cooler. We just have them in a box in the back seat and we try to eat them in a timely manner, of course. If it's too hot, however, we will put those in the cooler just so they don't go bad too fast. It really depends on the trip, where we're going, what the temperature is. There's other factors that dictate what we take and what we eat when we're camping. But for the most part, those are general things that we like to take. And we also really love to take grapes as a car snack. So we'll wash bags of grapes before we leave and we'll have those as car snacks if we are driving long distances. Um, also, smoothies. Smoothies are amazing and we will blend a smoothie before we leave and we'll blend another smoothie for the drive as well. So we have something while we're driving and that's an awesome way to get more calories in so that we're not hungry and like, oh, we need something to eat. It's much better for us to make sure that we fuel up. So on that note, when people go traveling and they haven't eaten, they're stressed out, they're trying to get everything together, the kids, blah, 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 all that. Or if you're going for work, you're, you need to be on time, you need to go to the airport, anything like that. Restaurants tend to be a default for a lot of people. And you can do raw at a restaurant, but you have to ask for what you want. They are really, really accommodating. I have never had a problem at a restaurant asking for what I want off the menu. And many of them have been really, really appreciative because they get to make something creative. They're like, ah, oh, you know, we make the same thing every day. It's nice to be able to make something different, especially the chefs in the back they're like, I wanna get creative. So they have been really appreciative when I ask for like a big salad, I'll look on the menu and be like, oh, can you add corn? I see you have fresh corn or do you have this? I, can you add that? Or, oh, there's like, whatever, uh, can you add that to the salad? And I'll explain to them what I'm looking for. And then for dressings, I usually just ask for mashed avocado with a side of wedged lemon and some salsa. 
A lot of places have fresh house-made salsa, so you can add that as well to the avocado, squeeze some lemon in there. And some places have like the cracked pepper to add a little extra flavor or red pepper flakes. You could add those to your salad too. And I've had some pretty cool salads at restaurants. So it is possible, but you have to ask for what you want. Just because it's not on the menu doesn't mean that they can't possibly make it for you. Some places will probably say no, but you never know unless you ask, right? So if you are in a pinch, that's always something that you can do. And sometimes you could even ask for sliced cucumber with guacamole. At least it's something and you're not going and grabbing like a bag of chips or eating something processed or whatever. You're eating something fresh and at least it's raw, healthy, and can help you to get through to your next stop or the grocery store or wherever, right? So if you do need to have something, remember that you can ask. They do have fresh ingredients. They do have raw food in the back. They just have to put it on a plate for you and provide you with some, some kind of dressing. Another thing you can do is take dressings with you. If they tend to have really high fat or if you don't wanna do guacamole, you can always take your own dressing. But again, planning is key. You can't always do this when you're winging it or like you're like, oh no, I don't have anything and I'm hungry and I need something. Then you will definitely need to default to the guacamole dressing. But if you are going out or say you're going to a restaurant with a group of people and you know that you can get a, a big, nice salad there, but you don't want their oily dressing or their processed dressing, then you could always take a little jar with maybe French dressing or one of the dressings from the bundle. You could grab the bundle. There's tons of dressings in the bundle. You could blend one of those up, have it in a little jar in your bag, and then just drizzle it on your salad when you get to the restaurant. I've done that multiple times and it's great because you get to enjoy with everybody else. You get to have a big salad or, <laughs> I mean, the salads at restaurants are kind of small, so you might need to order two. But again, it's possible. It just depends on how far you wanna go and if you ask and what you want. And finally, remember that it's your intention. This is a powerful step that most people miss. And it's not just about diet. It's not just about exercise. It's not just about sleep. It's everything in life. What is your intention behind what you're doing? Are you going traveling and do you want to be eating raw? Do you want to make a wrap? Do you want to have a salad? Do you want to get a cooler and a bin with all kinds of stuff? Do you wanna do that? Do you want to eat raw food? If you do, take the steps to get it done. And it might take time for you to collect things for your vehicle or get the cooler, maybe saving up money to get a cooler or whatever it is, practice and time with intention is going to help you to get to those new habits where you just automatically choose raw food when you go traveling and it's really easy. Um, I just remembered I wanted to talk about plane travel really quickly here. Plane travel can be very easy as a raw vegan. I've traveled overseas multiple times as a raw vegan. I've gone to Mexico. I flew back and forth from Canada to the US when I was dating Nate. I would fly over here and I'd be here for about three weeks and then I'd fly back home and I'd be there for about a month. So I flew almost like every month in 2018. And I was raw the entire time. And sometimes it was overseas and sometimes it was, like I said, to Mexico. And I've been many places on an airplane as a raw vegan. And the thing that I can tell you is just take your food. You can take food onto an airplane. The thing is they don't accept any liquids over like a hundred mils or whatever it is but you don't need to have your dressing in a jar. You can actually pour it on your salad. And I've done that multiple times where before going through security, I'll just pour the dressing over my salad and mix it up. And then I go through security just fine. They don't, they don't say anything. But the best thing to take on the plane is fruit. You can take fruit on the plane. I do recommend keeping the little sticker on the fruit because I've had some people tell me that they need the sticker but they've let me pass anyways. So they like to see the sticker on the fruit if you can, but I've never had a problem with fruit. I've always been able to take fruit through security and oranges, again, bananas work really well. And at least you have fruit for at the airport and you're not spending $3 on one banana at some convenience store and it's not ripe or asking if they can <laughs> sell you the pineapple that's on display, but they won't do it. I remember one airport, they had this beautiful pineapple 
on display, just like kind of standing beside the cooler. And I was like, can I buy that from you? Because I really wanted that pineapple, but they didn't sell it to me. But like, it's hard when you're at an airport because there's not a lot of fresh food. So you have to take your own. And it's totally cool to take fruit on an airplane. I've seen people take boxes of fruit on an airplane. So it is possible and just prepare. You could take the wraps. All oh, the wraps would be perfect to take on an airplane. What a great option. And the wraps ebook is in the bundle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy the bundle. It's all brand new content. It's not the same as any of the other raw bundles. It's all yours for 50 bucks and it's all raw. So you get my brand new Raw Vegan Wraps ebook, Nate's Kitchen Essentials course, which is gonna teach you about how we travel and the tools we use. Chris Kendall has a new stew ebook in there. There's a sound healing course in there. There's yin yoga course. There's other yoga stuff. There's fitness guides. There's actually an exclusive interview with Dr. Doug Graham by Ted Carr that's in the bundle as well. And that's going to be a really cool one uh, for anybody who wants to dive into that. That is exclusively brand new to this bundle. So you're going to want to grab it if you want to get all the goodies. It's only 50 bucks and it's only here for a couple more days, a couple more days left and then it's gone and we won't be selling it this way anymore. And if we do a raw vegan bundle, it won't be until 2024 and it'll be completely different than this one. So if you want this one, this is your chance. Go click the link in the description box below, grab it, download all the content and put it in a safe place like Google Drive or Dropbox or what have you, just so that you have it because you only have one year to download the content once you buy it. So please go check it out. I can't wait for you to enjoy all the goodies inside and we'll be back tomorrow for video number nine in our 11 video playlist series. You can watch all the previous videos and all the future ones as I add them in the description box. There's a link to the playlist for all the previous videos. So if you want to watch the other common vegan challenges videos that I've made, click on that link and go watch that and We'll be back again tomorrow. <laughs> I love you guys so much and always fruit on.